Hello, my name is Jeff, and today I will be showing you how to activate recovery mode on your cube. Only perform recovery mode if you are not able to factory reset your cube, update your firmware, or access your cube's web interface. Recovery mode will erase all pre-installed licenses and will reset your configuration settings. If you've had pre-installed licenses, please contact Teradek support. First, download the latest firmware update from teradek.com slash pages slash downloads. There's a direct link in the description of the video. Next, we will activate recovery mode on your cube. For current cube models, power off the cube. Using a paper clip, hold down the reset button near the USB port then power on the cube. When all the lights next to the LED are lit, you may release the button. The cube is in recovery mode. For previous cube models, power off the cube. Hold down the go live button next to the USB port, then power on the cube. When all LEDs are orange, you may release the button. The cube is in recovery mode. Once your cube is in recovery mode, connect your cube to your computer via ethernet cable. We will show you the next step on a Mac However, we have a link below for configuring on a PC. On your Mac, go into System Preferences, Network, configure IPv4, and select Manually. In the IP address, enter 192.168.1.101. For the subnet, enter 255.255.255.0. Click Apply. Open your web browser and access the cube at 192.168.1.123. Select the .bin firmware image file that you have previously downloaded and click Restore. If you need further advanced technical support, email support at teradek.com. For more information about Teradek, visit teradek.com.